Hello friends, let us now learn about the hyla and its abnormalities. So 99% of hyla shadows is due to vessels. 99% of hyla is mainly due to vessels. Okay, that too, these vessels are actually 99% of hyla is due to pulmonary arteries. Okay, and only 1% this hyla can have fat or it can have some lymph nodes or it can have bronchial walls. Whereas 99% of hyla have mainly the pulmonary vessels. Now, if you see the size of the hyla, the hyla size varies among the individuals. Even in the normal individuals also, the hyalur size shows a large variation. And sometimes, sometimes we can see unusual prominence of hyalur. This unusual prominence of hyalur can occur in two conditions. This unusual prominence of hyalur can occur due to, number one, seen due to whenever there is rotation, of the patient you can see unusual prominence of hilum or it can be due to some skeletal anomalies like scoliosis we can see unusual um, prominence of hilum then second then if you see the shape of hilum in the shape of hilum the hilum especially the vessels of the hilum have smooth margins the vessels have smooth margins and these vessels have branches also. You will see lots of multiple branching pattern is seen in the hilum. There are no lumps or no bumps. So lumpy, bumpy elements. There are no lumpy, bumpy elements seen in hilum. So if, you, if there is any lumpy, bumpy elements seen in hilum, then those elements should always be treated as pathology or if even if it is normal why are they present we should analyze that and if the patient is clinically symptomatic or anything then we should definitely treat the patient and we should definitely analyze him better then position of hilum in the position of hilum actually the left hyla so the left hyla is normally higher than the right hyla. Left hyla is at a higher level uh, than the right hyla is seen in 95% of cases. Whereas in 5% of the cases, left hyla is almost approximately at the same level to the right hyla. Why is it so? Because if you see, the main reason is that if this is the lung this is the second lung that is left right and left lung and we have right main pulmonary artery the right main pulmonary artery passes over the sorry left main sorry first we have left main pulmonary artery the left main pulmonary artery passes over the main stem bronchi we have left main stem bronchus so, left pulmonary artery will pass over the left main stem bronchus, whereas right main pulmonary artery passes in front of the right main bronchus. So, these are the things. So, first, right main pulmonary artery. Right main pulmonary artery, it passes in front of right main bronchus. Okay, right main pulmonary artery passes in front of right main bronchus, whereas left main pulmonary artery, this left main pulmonary artery will pass above or over the left main bronchus. Okay, so as a result, you can see that the Right, left hilum should always be at a higher level than the right hilum. Okay, in terms of position. Now, 
next one more important thing is that if i draw the lungs again so this is the lungs if the one more thing is that the lower pulmonary arteries extend inferiorly from the hilum okay here the lower pulmonary arteries extend inferiorly from the hilum and they look like a finger lower pulmonary sorry so the lower lobe pulmonary arteries these lower lobe pulmonary arteries will extend inferiorly from the hilum so these lower lobe pulmonary arteries will sometimes each be a size of the finger okay so if we actually see the picture this is the picture where the lower lobe pulmonary arteries are almost like a finger so on the right side you will see that the whole of the little finger is visible whereas on the left side the lower lobe pulmonary artery is not always clearly seen because of the heart here there is cardiac shadow so because of this cardiac shadow the lower lobe pulmonary artery is not clearly seen on the left side whereas it is very clearly seen on the right side so here if you see the main lower lobe pulmonary artery these are pointing downwards like this whereas on the right side you can clearly see the lower lobe pulmonary artery whereas on the left side because of the cardiac shadow it might be sometimes difficult to visualize the lower lobe pulmonary arteries clearly so here these are the hyla which this is the lower lobe pulmonary artery which is like this even here we have lower lobe pulmonary arteries which are very well visualized then now we have is the hilum too low or too high so in the position of the hilum to know whether the hilum is too low in position or is it too high in position we have two types of approaches which were followed one we have pure wrist approach similarly we also have pragmatist approach one we have purist approach second we have pragmatist approach 